Elections in America back in the national spotlight as yet another state passes an election security law that critics blast as voter suppression. Flanked by a room full of supporters, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis signed Senate Bill 90 into law today, and it's already facing several legal challenges. But beyond the controversial legislation, Governor DeSantis is facing criticism for preventing most journalists from attending the signing ceremony, allowing it to only be brought broadcast exclusively on Fox News. The newly signed election law is just one of several similar bills enacted or under consideration across America. According to NYU Law School's Brennan Center for Justice, as of April 1st, at least 361 bills had been introduced in 47 states and at least six have been signed into law. Critics blast all of them as voter suppression. NewsAsian is covering all angles of the election law debate across America. NewsAsian correspondent Brian Enton is live in Miami to break down the new floor Florida law, but we begin with Washington, D.C. correspondent Joe Khalil for an in-depth look at the similar legislation working its way through state legislatures from coast to coast. Joe. Yeah, Nicole, and what we heard today from Governor DeSantis was basically the same that we'd heard from other governors who've signed similar laws all around the country, defending them, saying that they don't disenfranchise voters, but that's not the perception from a lot of voting rights advocates, both at the state level and at a national level. And here in Washington, that includes grassroots, that includes Congress, and pushback from the White House. So, there you go. Bill is signed. The new Florida voting rights law, signed by Governor Ron DeSantis today, is just one of a series of measures in states across the country now under scrutiny. So right now, I have what we think is the, the strongest election integrity measures in the country. The governor says the new law, which follows similar sweeping election bills in Georgia, Texas, and other states, will secure the integrity of Florida elections. Voting rights advocates say all of them make it harder for some to vote. Show some humanity, some decency and show that you believe in the Constitution that the right to vote is sacred. Houston Mayor Sylvester Turner called a sweeping new elections bill in Texas a form of oppression. Most of these proposed measures limit the amount of drop box locations in their states, enact stricter requirements to get mail-in ballots, and give state legislatures more authority over county election officials. White House officials continue to criticize the spate of new voting laws, saying they're a solution in search of a problem. There's no legitimate reason to change the rules right now to make it harder to vote. That's built on a lie. The only reason to change the rules right now is if you don't like who voted, and that should be out of bounds. Now, Vice President Kamala Harris met with civil rights and voting rights leaders today. Uh, they were discussing the John Lewis Voting Rights Act and H.R. 1. Both are bills that made their way through Congress, uh, through the House, rather, long ways before they become law. She says the president supports them, and if they were to become law, uh, Nicole, expect a lot of lawsuits around these issues. Nicole. All right. Yeah, Joe Kalia live tonight in D.C. But zeroing in now on Florida, where Governor Ron DeSantis signed that controversial bill into law earlier today, the law being praised by Republicans as a necessity to deter voter fraud. But Democrats have already filed lawsuits challenging that law, saying it's un-American and oppressive toward people of color. News agent correspondent Brian Enton is live in Miami with a closer look at the controversy surrounding the new law, but also where the governor signed it, Brian. Yeah, Nicole, Governor DeSantis did take some heat today. Basically, all the reporters showed up to cover this bill signing, but he would only allow Fox News inside to cover it. He insists that this is all about voter security, election security, but Democrats say it is voter suppression. A room full of Florida Governor Ron DeSantis supporters cheer as the governor signs new voting legislation into law. The new law includes new voter ID and signature requirements. There are new rules on ballot drop boxes, like making them available only when early voting sites are open in some counties. And to protect against ballot harvesting, which is the collection of ballots by a third party, Floridians can now only return ballots of immediate family members or two unrelated people. Where you'd have these uh, big private groups come in and spend hundreds of millions of dollars to run elections. Uh, that is unacceptable. We are not allowing that in Florida. Uh, we're going to make sure our elections are transparent. 
But Democrats question why there needed to be a new law when Florida had no issues or evidence of fraud during the 2020 election. They say the changes just make it harder for the elderly and minorities to vote. Show me the fraud. Let's talk about that. The fraud that we did not see in this election. We had no issues at the polls. We had no issues at the ballot boxes. This was not about election security. This is about election suppression and silencing the vote of the people. I'm actually going to sign it right here. It's going to take effect. The governor also facing criticism because of where he signed the bill. Media was not allowed inside the room. Only Fox News was allowed to broadcast the moment during a live interview on Fox and Friends. Why did you only allow Fox News to capture the moment you signed the controversial election bill? So we did a, a wonderful bill signing for this great elections bill. And it was uh, live on national television um, on Fox and Friends, and we were happy to give them the exclusive on that. And I think uh, I think it went really, really well. And just within minutes of Governor DeSantis signing that bill, there were several organizations that have already filed lawsuits, including the League of Women Voters and Black Voters Matter. Live in Miami, Brian Enton, News Nation.